So I reached out to some subscribers in the Greenville area, and luckily, this guy, up, guys? Trey, decided to show me around to his local honey hole, and I have been looking for some store picks. So this store apparently has a lot of store picks. I've been loving store picks recently, so we're gonna go see what they have. Let's go see. So we're here with Trey, who is a local little tour guide. Hey guys. Um, he's gonna help me with this store right here. We're at Liquor Point, Duncan, South Carolina, yeah. So you know a little bit about these store picks. That's right. You're, you're a frequent customer. Of this That's place, right, yeah. So tell me a little bit about these. Sure thing, yeah. So this, uh, this is probably one of my favorite stores in the area for their store picks. And as you can see, just huge selection. Um, I've got quite a few of these on my shelf. Um, probably some of my favorites. I see you looking at the old elk. This one right here, this Field of Dreams, uh, this is a wheat. It is phenomenal. Um, so the, as you can see there, 95% wheat, nine years. Oh wow, it's a nine and, year? Yeah, just 121.2 proof. That's a delicious bottle, really, really good. Uh, down here, um, I know you talked about some old pepper sitting around before. They've got their own pick of that. This is just an excellent, excellent bottle, yep. Dude, what's the proof on this we got? Ooh, 52.2, yep. nice. How much is that? 54.99. Dude, they got so many old elks here. That's insane. Yes, yeah, they do. Yeah, they they always are just hitting it with the old elk stuff. What is this? So this is a this is a barrel, and this is a private. Is this a single barrel barrel, or is this just a? So it looks like it is blended. Okay. But yeah. So I'm not. I don't know that that's a private barrel. It as might. Much as it might be. Could though. be. Yeah. I've not had this one. Dude. I might could ask Mike about that one. It's a Jamaican rum. Why is the rum always gone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Dude, I love that. Oh, man, I, that's very intriguing to me. And then they have a Redemption High Rye Bourbon at 105 proof single barrel select for $49.99. That's actually a really good price for yeah. a single barrel. So this one, uh, this is another Old Elk. So this came out the same time as the Field of Dreams. This is a straight bourbon. It's called Dublin Up the Malt. You can kind of see the breakdown there. It's 51% corn. Yep, seven year. All right. Nice. Um, so probably another just hitter, and this may be all they have, is their latest Russells. Um, Sweet Island, or Desert Island Dram. Um, oh, this is a nine year. Um, but again, just this is, uh, I love Russell's picks. Yeah, me too. So anytime I can see one that's a decent price, I love to pick it up. This is on my shelf right now. Just, you, you like it? Yeah, it is really, really good. What are some of the flavor notes with it? Yeah, I'll pull my notes up for sure. Oh, you got notes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sweet fruit on the nose, and then just sort of that, almost like that candy cherry just like continues through on that one. A little bit of pepper in there. Some I of my notes on that one. I love a good Maker's Mark pick, dude. And that's 110 <laughs> proof. Yeah, yeah. Now, I've not had, I have not had this one from them. Um, Sure, we might have Mike could probably hook you up with a sample if we wanted to try some of these. I think most select, of those French. Oh wow, dude! You know, a lot of stores in South Carolina have their own yep. Knob Creek pick, but yeah. something I don't see very often is one of these Hub City. So as you can see, year. this is this is our second Elijah Craig pick. So you know, I told you the Hub City, the Hub City Charity. We did two Elijah Craig picks, so I got okay. you one, and then this is our second pick. Wow. So we partnered with the store on that one. Okay. I've never heard of this brand before. Yeah, Holding Station. So a um, couple of the guys up in Tennessee that do videos, they, they see this all the time up there. Never tried it myself. Set the bar high. Huh. Interesting. <laughs> yeah, I've never yep. I've never ran across that before. Yep. And then Puncher's Chance down there, you're starting to see more and more of those picks is, showing up around. Isn't this like a celebrities brand or something? Yeah, that's, uh, is it uh, Michael Buffer, the... Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Might be. Huh? I'll look it up. What is that? I've never seen this brand either. Oh, really? No, I mean, I've seen it, but I've never seen yeah. a store pick of it. Right, right. Yeah, the that's one thing I'll say about these guys is like, you'll see stuff like this, the hulling station, and like the layers right here. So I can tell you this, <laughs> don't sleep on this layers. Like, this is an apple brandy, but it 100% drinks like a bourbon. Like it's it is sitting at 130 it's, proof. I, so yeah, so we, oh my again, the, the group, Hub City group, we did a pick of this one. Uh, I think ours might even be 132 proof. 
Wow. But it is a, it's, it, it drinks like a high proof bourbon. So this is another vermouth finish, yep. like the one I've seen in Charleston. Right. These have a really weird mouthfeel on yeah, them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So they're I was, not bad, but they're So like, I was just talking to a friend the other day and we were talking about some of the picks um, that, that Dan helped with when he was here. And like this, this Jay Rieger right here, um, my friend was saying the same thing. He was like, he didn't pick this bottle up and then he went to somebody's house and they had it and he tried it and he was like, it's very unique, very different, but he was like 100%, if you want to put something cool on the shelf, like it's a cool bottle to have. I just because it's different. I agree. All right, what do we have over here? Um, so. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah. What the <laughs> f I've been looking for these. I was just at, oh, I'm gonna have to get one of these. Yeah, yep. Oh man. Yeah, that is a, uh, when I found out they were getting that one, I definitely had to be over here to grab a bottle of it. How did they not sell out of this that fast? So this one, you know, I've got some notes on this that I did when I did a pour of it. Brown sugar, blackberry on the nose. Got a little bit of a floral note going on with it. Um, I let my wife kind of, she smelled it and she was like, hey, it smells like peach pie to her. Um, super sweet on the palate, vanilla nougat, roasted pecan. Kind of reminds you of like those pecan rolls that you used to buy. Wow. Um, nothing harsh about it. Finish is good, doesn't linger too long, but just a really strong pecan note that just kind of hangs in there. So yeah, oh, wow. yeah. And this is actually the barrel from that pick and they're gonna be raffling that off. Oh, I've seen a lot of these. Yeah, the Woodenville. Yeah, yeah, those these, are pretty These popular. Woodenvilles are everywhere. Yeah, I think, you know, ADHD whiskey, he did a Woodenville pick. Um, 117 for Yeah. Though. That's not bad. How much? 74. Mm -hmm. One more I wanna point out to you is this is another um, Hub City Bourbon Club pick and it's called Everyone Likes the D. Um, phrasing. Uh, Davidson Reserve, 126 proof, 42.99. Cool thing about this store, if you buy two of their store picks, you get them 10% off, which is awesome. So that drops this bottle down to like 38 bucks. Dan had this bottle on his table and I might be a little bit partial, but it was still the best pour I had all night. So I've got this bottle on the shelf. I've got a backup for it on the shelf. So you think that, that might be one I should so get? So it's worth getting for that 10% off for two store picks. But yeah, don't sleep on this one. And this, this is this probably, one, this, one. this is probably <laughs> all that's left of this one so like if anybody's local to spartanburg come get these bottles before yeah, they're gone for good yep. yeah i might have to get that one and that one so a lot of the stuff that's kind of the hot items right now you'll find over here here's another so there's actually a i'd never seen this before until here but yeah, it's a 14 year so i haven't really seen that one around um so they've got some mckenna they've got some of the benchmarks um some of the will it rise i've heard about this old ezra yep an old ezra yep. seven i they said like 80 bucks is definitely worth picking up. Yep. I might be in trouble here. Yeah. Got the new, uh, the newest uh, 2XO. Yeah, yeah. Um, a lot of people are looking for those. Yep, yep. An eight year, six month Baker 7. So that's actually a really high age statement on there. Gotta love these. These are really starting to pick yep. up some steam, some popularity. Uh, these are fantastic. That's I right. like the port barrel better than I like the small batch. But, okay. And of course the, the B523 is here as well. Um, Knob Creek 12, Heaven Hill, and all these larcenies that everybody yep. can't find in other states, but we we can't get rid of them, man. They're $63 here. We yep. can't get rid of them. And the last time I was here, he might have sold, yeah, there's like a, so there's a C921 back there. Oh, so man. he's got a couple, some of the back catalog in there too. The C921's a very good. Bermanheim. Yep. Johnny Drum. <laughs> that stuff's kind of getting crazy right now. Dude, which I is love nuts, Johnny but... Drum. That's a really good one. I pointed out a lot, but it is good. And Benchmark, <laughs> old number eight. People are starting to buy that a lot too. <laughs> He's got his smoke wagon out because, as you know, that's that's really just starting to hit around here in oh, yeah. uh, South Carolina. Probably, I mean, my favorite smoke wagon is definitely the uncut, unfiltered. I, agree. Um, I will say it varies by batch. So like I've got really? uh, I've got a, an older batch on my shelf that is fantastic. Our bourbon club got together one night and we'll do like three blinds each night, and we blinded one and it was awful. <laughs> it was like the worst thing of the night, and it was a smoke wagon uncut and filtered. But I, it was just the batch, I guess. Huh. Um, I've had some very good ones. I, I don't have yeah. yet to have a bad yeah. one yet. So yeah, I uh, have this one at home too. This one's this one's good just for like the price, you know, to yep. be able to get into the smoke wagon lineup yep. and kind of especially. I've heard good things about this, haven't had it. Got yeah, a little um, a little buffalo hide. Yeah, so they here. got their store pick. Oh. Oh. Surprise, motherfucker. Trace. Yep. No way. Yep, so Just that's their over here? that's their second pick. Um, 
that's the that's the barrel for it uh, right there. Um, that's one of the barrels they're gonna raffle off. <laughs> Buffalo Trace store pick chilling over here. Are you kidding me? Like that doesn't make any sense at all. Like at all. <laughs> that that's just sitting here. And, and I don't and, think that's been out too long. Time I've because in here. Charleston, these are gone like instantly. Yeah, they hit the shelf and they're gone. So this is something that you should definitely get if you're trying to get into Maker's Mark. These are really good little gift sets that can actually open up your eyes to which stave profile you may like better. So these are really cool and obviously it's a nice gift box as well. And they got a little glass case over here That's too. right, yeah. Is that the 12 year? No, it's not the 12 year. Dude, wow. We got a lot of really nice things mm -hmm. in this case though. A little Sinatra Select, I see. Yep. Knob Creek. 18. Thankfully, those are starting to pop up everywhere. Yeah, starting those to see are starting more of that. Very popular. These Sam Houston's. Have you ever had one of these, Trey? No, I haven't. I've got I've got this uh, 2023 Yellowstone on my shelf at home. Have it's you, really good. Have you, yeah. You've opened it? Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. Is it worth 150 bucks? Or I'm, a, I'm a proof guy, and yeah. so like I had a hard time. I struggled. I struggled with the price on the for the proof, you know. Proof. But oh, that's, um, that's, but I, I heard a lot of good things about it. Picked it up. I mean, I don't regret picking it up, but it's a it's a good pour. Yeah, it's the only Yellowstone I have on my shelf. So three chamber rye whiskey from Leopold. That's interesting. That's very interesting. Jack Rye right here, straight burp, 116 proof from Augusta, distilled from grain. Interesting. Second. Huh. You know anything about this? Mm -mm. No, I'm not familiar with that one. That's interesting. I've yep. never seen that before. If any, if any of y'all Georgia boys know anything yep. about this brand, let I us know. The Georgia, there you go. You know, Orphan Barrel does some weird things, but they do, yeah. They have some really cool labels, man. Castle Curse Single Malt Scotch is so cool. And they got these other ones over there, too. The Muckety Muck. Yeah. And of course, everybody. The red perfect, dude. Unfortunately, I've tried the, <laughs> I've tried these and they are not worth. And see, I've got a buddy who like this is his favorite thing. The rare perfections are just oh, like his God, favorite. I so feel bad for him. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah, man. So I think we're gonna go with one of these. All right. Can I just set these over here for a second? Thanks. I'm gonna 100% have to get one of these. Let's just uh, keep stacking them up. And one of these. <laughs> yeah. You're not going to be disappointed, man. Dude, those are, those are three firsthand, I can tell you. They're, they're just fantastic. So. Oh, dude, you're killing me. Oh, you're We're going to have to that. get this. I said, I don't know. Go ahead and add that to the tally, I guess. No, I appreciate it. It's going to be great. <laughs> oh, boy. No, that's a lot of damage. Oh, my goodness. Seriously, dude? Really? Hey, man. What I tell you? Store picks galore, pal. Yeah. No, I think we found some. I think you might have found something good. <laughs> yeah, let's see what we got. All right, $278. Do we have some stuff? Buffalo Trace Buffalo store Trace pick. store pick. Boom. Another one, because, you know, why not? We have a Russell's pick, which now I have three. Thank you, Trey. Uh, this is the nine year, and this is the Desert Island Ram. So, Good, amazing, amazing I, bottle. I can't believe that. Oh wait, there's more. <laughs> Bottled and Bond store yes, pick, sir. 1792. God dang it, dude. Are we done yet? Oh, no, wait. we're not done. <laughs> so the single barrel Davidson, this is my first Davidson. Decided to get it because of him. Thank you so much, Trey, for Absolutely, showing me this place, man. I can't thank you enough. Y'all check out the Patreon. We have some really cool reviews. All of these are gonna be on there, and as well as the Discord. Reached out to people like him. Come hang out. We have a great time here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, Bourbon Hunter, out.